Welcome to this week's edition of the Central Arkansas Football Report. Along with head coach Clint Conk, I'm Justin Acri. Bears come on the road here to Turpin Stadium in Natchitoches, Louisiana, and lose, unfortunately, 31-28. Coach, a hard-fought game, and you guys were riding such a high last week off that, that big win on homecoming. And uh, uh, I know you want to give a lot of credit to Northwestern State, but obviously some critical mistakes cost you guys. Well, yes, uh, uh, Jay Thomas and his staff and his team did an excellent job. They were the more physical football team tonight. and. Uh, caused us uh, some grief uh, defensively, gave up too many big plays. And then offensively, uh, you know, we turned the ball over twice, uh, made some mistakes. Thought at times, though, we ran the football. Willie Matthews really had a, a really nice game tonight and uh, Courtney Whitehead. And, and there were some bright spots, but certainly not a consistent enough effort. Uh, made some critical errors, and those critical errors turned into points uh, for Northwestern. And obviously, a a lack of a red zone conversion was probably the difference in the football game. Yeah, I mean, again, you go back to overall picture of this football team. Kick coverage has been a strength. Uh, lack of penalties has been a strength of this yep. football team. Um, you know, <laughs> execution in the pass game and finding some easy plays like we saw last week. Uh, a lot of those things were missing tonight, certainly. Well, too many fouls. Yeah. Uh, too many fouls. Uh, probably uh, not enough fouls were called, though, in that game. Uh, I thought the one uh, on the injury of Kelton Warren was a, was a horse collar. Uh, broke his ankle, and uh, that's unfortunate for that young man. But, uh, you know, we've got to be more disciplined, and, and certainly, uh, you know, uh, Eddie Kamara, our starting kicker, was limited to just uh, uh, just field goals tonight. And, you know, we had, you know Jay Stinker's done a, a, a very credible job, but a little windy tonight, and uh, and they, they had a nice little return scheme that they put in this week, and uh, uh, we didn't get off blocks and uh, gave them good field position a good bit of the time. All right, we'll take a look at the first half highlights coming up in just a moment. Your 2013 Central Arkansas Football Report is sponsored by AT&T, Baptist Health, and Crane Automotive. Arkansans rank Baptist Health first for overall quality. You've named us the leader for women's health, for orthopedics, for heart, for rehabilitation, and for state-of-the-art technology. And with over 175 access points across the state, we can provide the highest level of care close to you. The most preferred nurses, the most trusted doctors, the best overall reputation. Baptist Health, all our best. Welcome back. Bears came in ranked 15th in this game, Coach, and, and despite the setbacks, the injuries, uh, a couple of close losses, your team uh, still very much in contention to make the postseason, be relevant in the conference race, and uh, this was such a huge game. We've talked about it all week and really the last few weeks about how difficult this league has been. It's a cliche to some degree, but we have now seen it, and we knew there are truly no give me wins in this league this year. No, not at all. And uh, again, we have great coaches in this league, outstanding talent. I mean, you know, our footprint is very similar uh, throughout our conference that you see uh, recruiting in the Big 12 and the SEC. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's a lot of athletes in Texas and Louisiana and uh, Mississippi. And of course, we get our fair share out of Arkansas and Tennessee. But, uh, um, you know, when you go on the road, you have to play mistake free football. And, uh, and certainly, you've got to have the right attitude. An approach, and I, I thought we prepared well, um, you know. But uh, they didn't make any mistakes. We made too many, and uh, uh, give those guys credit for a three-point win. Opening kickoff here after the Bears win the toss and defer, and that's Willie Matthews, whose name we'll mention a lot tonight, making a tackle. Coach, we always talk about the front line guys, and uh, early on, kind of the theme was receivers making plays in the passing game, and, and they were balls that really only their receivers had a chance to to pull down and. And Adkins putting it in a position where they could go get it, and they did make some plays. Nice sack right there. Dylan Winfrey. Yeah, the, come on. Yeah, yep, uh, blitz package there out of our out of our uh, out of our nickel package. Uh, the sophomore from Bryant, and uh, touch there, young man, and good job there by by Desmond Smith, the redshirt freshman from Bentonville. A couple of nice catches tonight. Start here with the back screen. We missed the Will linebacker. A heck of a run here by Kelton Warren, the true freshman. Uh, from Arlington, positive play to start the game. Um, again, in, uh, in empty, 
heck of a throw and catch uh, from Ryan Howard, the junior quarterback from, from Vestavia, Alabama. We're down the red area now. Miscommunication here um, between uh, uh, Desmond Lewis and, and, and Howard. And, uh, but we do get points uh, and able to take an early three to nothing lead. Yeah, a nine play, 44 yard drive, a 35 yard field goal by Eddie Kamara, who was perfect on field goals. Good job there by T.J. Randall, the junior from Kansas City. Uh, this was a conversion down. Uh, we got to keep the receiver out of the middle of the field. You know, I thought uh, at times uh, with the interior run, we did a heck of a job, uh, you know, uh, in our four down package. Uh, but again, you know, we let them to the middle of the field. Good tackle right here by Marcus Peters, uh, the senior from Longview, Texas. Uh, in this play right here, we stretch it out. We overrun the play. You can see our middle linebacker and our safety, uh, and they're able to uh, get in the end zone and take the lead. Yeah, they scored a few times from outside the red zone, and again, they have not had a ton of success within the red zone, so uh, unfortunately couldn't get them down there. You guys have you know, certainly done a good job of not breaking if you, if you do bend. Kick returning, certainly a strength of the team. You come into this game ranked number one in the country. Nice return right there by Winfrey who actually returned probably, I think you believe the majority of the kicks. They uh, were trying to angle it every time. Yeah, they did a nice short. job of putting it in the corner there. But uh, uh, again, we come back uh, on the end cut to Justin Burdett, uh, the sophomore from Birmingham. Good job, Justin. Big target there in the middle. That yeah, was one of the longest pass plays of the night. They, they elected to go in a completely different approach from what you faced last week with SFA, where they went zero most of the night and played press coverage. These guys really sat back and yeah, they weren't going to give us. Yeah, they weren't going to give us any big plays. And when they did play man, uh, generally they, they they still had two high safeties. See here, we're in perfect position. A couple of missed tackles. Uh, we let this out first down. Uh, that formation and that particular run has has, has really hurt us uh, uh, over the year. Uh, we get out of our, our quadrants here. And again, it's the big plays, uh, you know, possession downs. They were 50% they were on possession downs. Mm -hmm. You know, we just couldn't get off the field on third down. And, you know, but on early downs, when they ran into the interior of the line, I thought, uh, you know, the defense did a good job. But, uh, you know, if we can get off on, you know, we, we didn't have enough three and outs. And, uh, and certainly that hurt our field position. Well, and you talked all week about how big that offensive line is. I mean, they average, I think, over 300 pounds across the front. Really big offensive line. And, Nice job by your defensive lineman making plays. Another nice throw and catch right there. Uh, Jatavius Wilson with the grab. Yeah, the true freshman right here. This is something we talked to our quarterbacks about. They've got to recognize blitz off the edge, pull up and, and get rid of the football, but we take a sack. Uh, we get beat here in one-on-one -on -one block. And uh, another sack, we give up five sacks tonight. Uh, and obviously that's not acceptable. And, uh, you know, too many lost yardage. And uh, I, I did think John Harrison you know, punted the football a little bit better tonight, 38-yard average, I believe. Uh, but you can see right here, because of the, the two lost yardage plays, just an extremely short field, but the defense is playing hard. Uh, good job there by Matt Hornbuckle, the senior from Colleyville, Tennis, uh, Texas. Again, we lose our, 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 our containment. Uh, they're on the plus side of the field, but we do force a punt. Adkins was a, a troublemaker, and it wasn't necessarily, you know, how far he ran. It was when he ran and the effectiveness, you know, in converting and causing problems for your defense. Nice throw and catch out here. Yeah, Blake Gardner, uh, you know, the sophomore from, from San Antonio. Uh, good job of catch and throw. Uh, right here, we just got to stay more compact and poised in the pocket. Uh, a nice job of hitting the check down to, to Blake Veasley. We come back here on the quarterback run. We've got to seal that back inside, but uh, positive play there by Taylor Reed, uh, the sophomore from El Dorado. Uh, and again, you know, we've, we've Probably the protection was good enough right there. We, the ball's got to be flying someplace, either an incompletion, throw it away, or, or, or hit your check down. But, um, you know, not bad coverage here. Uh, good job there by DJ Holland, a uh, sophomore from, from Crowley, Texas. Uh, they caught us in a cover three right there, and that uh, one of the weaknesses of that, of that coverage. But uh, again, you know, we've got the quarterback wrapped up. We let him out. This was a third down, and then they converted into a first down on the plus side of the field. And that's the thing. We've got to get off the field, and because of his athleticism, you know, this is about the fourth time this year that we've been hurt with the trick play. Mm -hmm. And right here, we, did, we didn't do a very good job of getting the, the coverage communicated, and uh, it hurt us. And Demons got 14-3 on that play right there. 
Well, I thought it was important that we respond right here. Courtney Whitehead, who had another very positive night, uh, one of his four or five catches. We come back here to Willie Matthews. Willie had over 100 yards rushing, and I thought uh, finished his runs, a lot of yards at, uh, after contact, and also caught the ball well. And this was a, a very physical drive for our offensive line and uh, gained a lot of momentum from this. And yeah, did have a couple of uh, completions on this drive, but it was mostly Ryden Willie Matthews. He had four big carries on this one. That was his third in a row right there, all double-digit runs. As far as yardage goes, nice throw and catch out there. Jatavius Wilson makes a man miss, gets knocked out of bounds, another first down pickup. Yep, now we're down into the red area, and this is a heck of a run right here, right up the middle, well blocked by the offensive line. I think that was Cole Carruthers with a, yep. with a pancake over there. Was yep, great person. job, great job, and uh, you know we responded to their touchdown, and uh, we thought that that was very important. Uh, you know, we get something very positive happen going into the going into the half. Able to make a stop right there, and. Uh, they're back around the midfield stripe and more Adkins here. Yeah, and we, we better get the quarterback run figured out because uh, mm -hmm. the group that we play next week has a, you know, probably one of the better athletes that will play at any position uh, playing quarterback. And uh, again, you can see it's, it, it's not that he's big chunks of yards, uh, but it's five. You know, we've got him sacked right here. And uh, that was a big play, big play because we, we didn't want to allow any more points uh, before the half. And force uh, force a northwestern punt. Just enough time here, coach, to either, you know, I guess you guys had a choice to make. Just under two minutes, but maybe a minute and a half to play or so. Whether mm -hmm. or not you want to be very aggressive and kind of throw the ball here, or at least think about it. Ryan Howard, unfortunately, pressured, dumps it underneath, and obviously that's uh, from a clock management standpoint not the best play. But you do pick up a couple of yards. Well, that's a very dangerous pass. And right here, you know, we tagged a run with the, you know, with the uh, with the pass and. Really, we just wanted him to run the football right there, and uh, but instead we have to punt. And uh, pretty close right here. Uh, I think their young man they called it. He touched it, and unfortunately we didn't come up with it. Yeah, that could have been a big break right there. Just uh, not very aware where he was on the field, and unfortunately demons hold on to it. And another couple of missed tackles yeah, there. Good Coach. job, good yeah, job though go. by John Wooder chasing the play down from the backside, the sophomore from Brentwood, Tennessee, but. Uh, I thought, you know, Northwestern, again, was the more physical team. And, uh, you know, we had some opportunities that uh, we didn't take advantage of. We couldn't get off the field on third down. And, again, some of the fouls that we had that continued to, uh, to creep up in the second half really hurt us uh, as far as field position. Yeah. Bears down 14-10 at the half. We'll take a look at the second half highlights coming up. Okay, I'm jealous. AT&T introduces the Nokia Lumia 1020. Capture every detail with brilliant zoom at 41 megapixels. Get it only from AT&T with no down payment. This is my home. And here's my hot water heater, located right above my living room. And here's the mess it made when it leaked. Really leaked. Kind of throws off the ambiance, don't you think? Well, I stayed calm and called the experts at All Clean Restoration, so here it is. My living room before the water damage and my living room after. Or as I like to think, my living room before All Clean, my living room after All Clean. All Clean Restoration, proudly serving all of Arkansas. As we mentioned off the top, Bears the first, so they get the ball first in the second half. And Coach, I think everybody had high hopes the third quarter he certainly owned last week, uh, 38 points scored in the third quarter last week alone and uh, looking to get off to a positive start. Did some good things offensively, do not score on the opening drive though. Well, they kick it out of bounds and we get positive field position, but we don't take advantage of it. Um, right here, I thought we got a little bit greedy. Uh, we had the underneath route coming on the end cut, I, I thought, uh, uh, to be able to move the chains. Uh, again, we go, with the, we go with the rugby punt. and. Uh, we're able, we are able to, uh, to pin them back. Again, it's the, uh, you know, the, what we call the nub side run right there. We're not fitting that as physical as we need to, but we've got them now. We've got them backed up, and uh, great job in man coverage right there by, by Bobby Watkins III, uh, the sophomore from Dallas. And, uh, and we, force a, we force a short punt, and now the field position's working for us, you know, the plus side of the field. Uh, we're throwing catch right here to Damian Watts, the junior from, from Texarkana. 
He was trying to stop right there, and his foot kind of slipped out. A little screenplay inside of Dez, down to the 20 yard line. Back in the back in the red area again. Uh, right here, Howard. Uh, nice throw uh, to Desmond Lewis, the junior. Good job. First down. Uh, and then this is a really good run right here. We, we miss a block, and Willie spins out of it, and uh, able to go in the end zone again. He had 109 yards rushing tonight. You know, two weeks ago we were without him. Uh, last week, Kelton Warren had a big night, and uh, tonight was Willie's night to really contribute in a significant way. So you're in the lead now at this point, 17-14. Well, and again, um, you know, short kick, not very good hang time. You know, we spin the guy around out of bounds. Uh, they call horse collar. The previous drive, uh, you know, we're down there, and I thought uh, Kelton Warren was horse collared. Uh, of course, he broke his ankle, and uh, we don't get the call, and, and they get the call. Again, missed tackle here, missed tackle here, and then uh, Justin Love, the senior from West Memphis. But again, uh, you know, we've got them back here, I think first and 20, and they're able to convert this, uh, and not only convert it, but uh, you know, certainly into a touchdown. Yeah, 38-yard play from Atkins to Daniel Taylor, and uh, just a minute 49 to score and take the lead back. That was a lead they would not relinquish, 21-17 at this point. Well, we've got, uh, you know, miscommunication in the backfield, but Taylor's a good enough athlete. Picked up eight, I think, on that play. Yep, makes something happen. Good job. Uh, we come back here with the quick game to Willie out the backfield. Good physical run, good physical finish. First down. Uh, once again on the, uh, the one-back power. Uh, the junior from Memphis, uh, once again, he seemed very determined, was in a good rhythm. Boy, near miss yeah, right pretty, there. pretty risky right there, but uh, good catch uh, by Desmond Smith. Yeah, that's not an easy test with a guy flashing in front of your face to be able to concentrate. I know you guys work on that. Get you inside the five. I guess uh, got backed up here, unfortunately. And then it's a big, big play right here. Uh, potential to make a touchdown at the very least, you know, get three. They pick it off in the end zone, run it out a little lateral, and they get great field position. Well, Ryan's going to learn from this, and he's got to learn from this. Uh, you know, uh, you know, we've got an opportunity to get points on this side. Uh, big play right here, though, on first down. Zach Bush, the junior from Denton, Texas. Started tonight in place with Darius Winston. Um, but, you know, we, we work one side of the field or the other. We never, there's not one play in our arsenal that we fulfill read. And, and uh, you know, whenever you throw late back across your body, uh, bad things happen. And, uh, you know, it's a 10 point swing. And uh, when you get beat by three, you know, was this the difference in the game? Certainly was a huge turning point. Uh, but we'll learn from it, and uh, Ryan will be better for that. Our offense will be better for it. Just uh, their young man kicks it into the end zone, and we get another another big return here by, by Dylan Winfrey. Yeah, he had a big night, certainly, and he's had some big returns. In fact, he had a little better average than uh, Jatavius Wilson, who was number one in the country coming out. Just didn't have enough to qualify. He may now. Um, that 41-yard field goal, too, Coach, that's a four-play, one-yard drive. So, again, it just gives you an idea. Uh, what a huge play that is uh, as far as the interception goes. And then this one, Ryan Howard trying to make a play, and uh, the, ball, the ball pops out, another turnover, something you cannot afford to do, certainly. Yeah, two turnovers on, on, on really almost back-to-back -back plays, and it just really puts your defense in a, in a bad situation. And, and the defense did a phenomenal job here as we start the, uh, the fourth quarter of, of keeping Northwestern to no points, but you can see the field position we're in uh, is not ideal. Blake Beasley, physical run right through a demon there, and then finishing strong again, dives out to about the 19-yard line. Awesome. The, the, the sophomore from Cherry Valley, uh, you know, gives us that physical presence at 205, 210 pounds. Another good run there. A good finish here by Willie Matthews, refusing to go down. Yeah, he worked a little pirouette into the game this week. He really did right here. I just wish he'd have set that block up right there with, with Reed, and he might have been able to, to take it down the sideline. but. Uh, Miss a, miss a block right here. We had it really set up on the, on the quick screen. Um, good job right here on the outside run. But again, we're down in the tight red area. Uh, we need touchdowns. And, uh, you know, they block, you know, when you, you know, they get their hands up and uh, knock it down. Instead of, uh, instead of getting a touchdown, we have to settle for an Eddie Kamara field goal. Yeah, that's an 87 play, 87 yard drive, rather, eight plays uh, to cut the lead to 24 20. Well, again, they changed their scheme just a little bit, but you can see here, just the missed tackles, we lose leverage. Um, I really thought that uh, we would have a special team's advantage tonight. Uh, really didn't work out that way. Um, 
They come back on the on the play pass. Nice tackle there by my senior Justin Hurd uh, from Woodland, Woodland, Georgia. Uh, and again, uh, Hurd on the tackle. Good job. We're going to run the football defense. That's the receiver making a play again. I want to point out. I mean, well, they, they ran a, they ran a little mesh play right here, mm -hmm. and uh, Ricky Wyatt. And I thought Ricky played a very physical game of all the uh, young men on defense. But you can see right here, we overrun, we overrun again, uh, and they're able to get it down now to the tight red area, and then uh, you know try to go with the fade on on third down, I believe, and we get an interference call there. Did stand up to it initially. Great play right there. Yeah, T.J. Randall. Uh, again, TJ's having a fantastic year, uh, but they come back here on the quarterback draw and uh, we're not able to fill those A gaps and he's able to basically walk in the end zone. Eight minutes to go now in the game, down two scores, 31 to 20. And, uh, you know, it's pressure time, obviously. You guys got to make some plays. And well, I, I didn't think we had any quit. I, I really like yeah. the grit and determination that we showed down the stretch, you know, to give ourselves a chance. And we pick up the blitz, we come back to, uh, to Desmond. Uh, Smith right here on a very positive play. First down. We're in demon side the, of the field. Uh, once again to Burdett. And this play's called back. They call offensive pass interference on one of the other receivers. You know, and I really thought that hurt us uh, uh, because, uh, you know, we, we ended up having to punt the football here. And we were down deep into uh, northwestern territory, running out of time. Well, I know you burned some timeouts here on this possession, which made the, uh, the onside kick a little bit later. Absolutely critical. Unfortunately, give up a first down here. You do end up stopping them eventually, though, and uh, boy, their back ran hard all night. Big physical kid. Uh, yeah, good, good job, though. Yep, good job by Woodard right there. And, and we got a wrap up right there. Uh, Justin Love. Uh, and this is a uh, third down. I'd, I'd used all our timeouts right here. I think this was third and one, and we're able to, to turn them back, force Northwestern to punt, and we get the football back. And uh, Ryan goes to work to, to Courtney Whitehead, uh, continues to grow in our offense and uh, gives us uh, you know, big plays, big receiver, 217 pounds. Uh, good protection right here. Another nice. Uh, that was a great catch, unfortunately, yeah. a little behind the play. That was Whitehead going up top between a couple of demons pulling it down. And then, boy, nice throw and catch right here. Willie Matthews trying to fight into the end zone. They knock him out. That was uh, Black, their outstanding linebacker. and then. This is about as good as it gets right here, folks. We've seen Des Lewis, Lewis do this over the years. We've seen Whitehead do it a couple times, and he does it again right there. Critical play, and then great fourth down, two-point conversion here, or great two-point conversion, rather, on this play, Coach. Well, I thought our quarterback got hit uh, as well, helmet to helmet. And I, I, I took a 15-yard penalty, but hey, we, uh, we gave ourselves a chance there on the onside kick. Unfortunately, we didn't get the bounce. Those things are, you know, happenstance. But yeah. uh, last year we got it, this year we didn't. But uh, again, very proud of the way the the kids competed all the way to the end, and uh, um, you know we just didn't show the sense of urgency and the physicalness and the discipline in all three phases, uh, you know, to go on the road and be able to win. But there were some bright spots in this football game. Yeah, well, let's go back now and take a look at our play of the game. We've already referred to it a little bit, and you talked about growth of your quarterback, a guy who has been in the system for a while but has not played a lot of snaps. And it's a situation where it's hard to tell a guy who's trying to hit a home run to, you know, settle for a single maybe in certain situations. Yeah, and, and, and you know, and that's part of having a lot of success and, you know, and feeling like you can, you know, make every play and we just got to play within the system here. But this was a 10-point swing, or points for us, and, and, of course, it led to points for, for Northwestern. But Ryan will grow from this. We'll grow as a football team from this. Certainly, it changed the momentum of the game. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, obviously it wasn't why we lost the game, but it was a big play in the football game. All right, we'll come back and take a look at our players of the game in just a moment. At Zaxby's, all of our salads are made fresh to satisfy any craving. Like the blue, with a bold taste of real blue cheese and buffaloed or blackened chicken. The house, or the Caesar. With so many flavor-packed choices, you'll be seeing salad in a whole new way. Guess someone forgot to tell us that salads are supposed to be boring. Zaxby's, indescribably good. It's the model year in closeout at the giant Crane Buick GMC. The 13s have to go, so get our largest savings of the year on Acadia, Terrain, Verano, and Lacrosse. Right now, new GMC terrains start for just $23,995. Get discounts up to $6,000 off new Acadias and Enclaves, and new Buick Veranos start at just $19,995. Plus, the all new 2014 GMC Sierra has arrived. And you'll get the Crane commitment, including a 100,000 mile warranty. It's the model year in closeout at the giant Crane Buick GMC exit 127 in Conway. 
Welcome back. Time now to take a look at our players of the game. And Coach, uh, the running game has really kind of the last few weeks mm -hmm. sort of been building and building. And this this week, a very traditional attempt at it as far as, you know, hand the ball up between the tackles. And uh, we're going to give it to Willie Matthews. Great performance. Yeah, Willie had uh, nine carries for 109 yards and two touchdowns. He also gave us five receptions for 28 yards. We, As a, as a football team, uh, all the running backs and, and the quarterbacks, we had uh, – about 150 yards rushing, so we continue to improve there. Credit to the offensive line, the tight ends, our fullback. But uh, again, no, not quite enough. And uh, but but Willie did have a spectacular night tonight. And on the defensive side, uh, some good linebacker play really across the board. But Ricky Wyatt, we're going to give it to him and uh, great performance. Out well, of him. you know, coming back to Louisiana, uh, I was very proud of Ricky because he did play very physical. I think tonight tackled extremely well. And uh, I think he only had five total tackles and one tackle for loss. There were several other players in there had statistically a few more plays. But I thought Ricky played with intensity, played very physically, tackled with two hands, and uh, brought ball carriers to the ground. So we'll go with Ricky Riot tonight. All right, well, Coach, uh, back to Conway next week. And uh, a very talented Southeastern Louisiana team, which took sole possession of first place in the conference with a big victory on the road at McNeese. Uh, I don't think. We need to tell anybody more than the fact that they won at McNeese in convincing fashion. Then, got a tough challenge ahead of you this week. Boy, it's a huge challenge. Uh, Ron Roberts uh, brought in uh, quite a few transfers, and obviously had a pretty good football team coming back from last year. But uh, their quarterback Bennett's a transfer from Oregon. Actually, started the first game or two at Oregon last year, and then Mariotti is that his name? Yeah, Mariota. Mariota mm -hmm. came mm -hmm. in and beat him out. And of course, uh, Bennett's down at Southeastern, a great two dual threat quarterback, uh, big, strong, physical athletes all over the football field. Uh, the best kicker in the league right now statistically in Sebastian. Uh, it's going to be a huge challenge, but we will be back at home on the stripes. Uh, looking forward to get back home. Uh, we got to count heads and see who's available. Uh, again, to mention, you know, we lost Kelton Warren tonight. We had another young man with a concussion. Uh, hopefully we can get one or two that didn't make the trip back. But, uh, you know, certainly doesn't get any easier, but uh, we embrace the opportunity to compete and, uh, you know, uh, an opportunity to get better. And, you know, the thing that uh, we start every season with is the opportunity to, 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 for our seniors to leave winners. We're, we're, we had five wins. Uh, we're still looking for that elusive sixth win. This is a tough loss here tonight. This one will sting for a while, but we've got to come back and get ready for a great Southeastern Louisiana football team. All right, Coach, good luck this week. Appreciate it. All right, going to be a good one. Bears and Lions, 7 o'clock kick next week, and we'll have a recap for you next week on the Central Arkansas Football Report. Are Kansans ranked Baptist Health first for overall quality? You've named us the leader for women's health, for orthopedics, for heart, for rehabilitation, and for state-of-the-art technology. And with over 175 access points across the state, we can provide the highest level of care close to you. The most preferred nurses, the most trusted doctors, the best overall reputation. Baptist Health, all our best. If you're coming to Conway for football, get ready to put your game face on. For shopping, dining, accommodations, and more, come for football, stay to play. Learn more at ConwayArkansas.org.